Hi everyone, in this lecture we will see about Python arrays. So in last lectures we already learnt about Python variables and Python assignment operators and Python decision making statements and Python looping statements also. So in this lecture we have to learn about Python arrays. So first of all we will know about uh, what is an array. Here an array is also a one special type of variable here which can hold more than one value at a time. We already learnt about Python variables. You can see Python variable is different from array. Why? Because Python variable is only storing only one value. If storing is only one value. But here array can store more than one value at a time. So this is the difference between variable and an array. So here see one example here if you have a list of items so uh, the list of items is cars here in by using variables so these are the by using variables car1 is equal to Ford car2 is equal to Volvo and car3 is equal to BMW in variables assignment we, we are requiring three variables and three values so instead of requiring three variables instead of using three variables we are using simple we are using arrays with a simple one name and it can store multiple values suppose if you take one array name like car in car we can store ford volvo bmw in that we are assigning we are storing see all values at a time so here it will not storing all values at a time in variables assignment so in array we can store multiple type of arrays so this is an array I hope that everyone understand that what is an array and why you, why we are using arrays instead of variables. So this is about array. Now we will see how to access the elements of an array. So here the elements of an array. Here the elements of an array we can access by using its index number. Every the every value stored in the array it has it has one index value. So with the help of that index value, we can access the array elements. So see one example here, get the value of the first array item. Suppose you want to take the value of the first array item. So here the, the array declaration is the syntax of array is variable name, variable name is equal to square brackets. So we have we are writing the values in this within the square brackets with the help of commas. So here cars is equal to Ford Volvo BMW. It is an array. It is storing the where array name is cars. In cars we are storing Ford Volvo BMW. These are the values which are stored in array cars. So now if we want to get the first array item, so here see every array item every array item stored in the array it has index number here the ford has zero index and volvo has one index and bmw has two index so here x is equal to cos of zero means the index value is zero we want to get the we want to store the cos of zero value in x what is in the cos of zero cos of zero we have ford so when we are accessing the cos of 0, when we are using the index number with the help of array name, then it will access the Ford. It will access the value that is stored in that uh, index number what we mentioned there. So here we are mentioning 0. 0th index we have Ford, Ford name. So it will copy the Ford name in X. Now we are printing the print of X. So now we are printing the X value. The x value is Ford. So it will print the Ford in the output. So this is the how we access the elements in an array with the help of index number. And modify the value of the first array item. So here the next topic is that we have to mod. Suppose if, if you want to modify the values of the array item. Suppose for example if you want to modify the first array item here. So see if you want to replace with ford with toyota then the how to we how we modify that value means here car of zero is equal to toyota we are that means that we are replacing the zeroth index with toyota so we are uh, telling that fill the 
ಜೀರೋತ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಟೊಯೋಟಾ ಸೊ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ ಯಾರೆ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಟೊಯೋಟಾ ವಾಲ್ವೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಮ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಐಟಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಟೊಯೋಟಾ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಟೊಯೋಟಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಔ ಟು ಮಾಡಿಫೈ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಐಟಮ್ ಸೊ next next we will see the length of an array we are finding how to sometimes in some operations we require to find the length of an array so to find the length of an array we are using len method so with the help of len method we are to return the length of an array so to return the length of array we are using len method by using len method we are simply finding the length of an array so here see one example here this is an example cars is equal to ford volvo bmw and x is equal to len of cars print of x so here we are using the to find the length of an array we are using the len function so len of array name then it will print the print of x the length of cars is stored in x then we are printing the x the so see for example the how many elements we are storing in the array we are storing the array three elements so here see one thing one point one important point is that the length of an array is nothing but a number of elements we are storing the array is called the length of the array here we are storing the three elements in the array and the output is the length of the array is 3 so now we will get the output as 3 so this is the this is the way of finding the length of an array and next one is looping an array elements so we also find that we also necessary for looping the array elements so you can use the for in loop to loop through all the elements of an array and this is an example here cars is equal to ford volvo bmw and for x in cars print of x here we are looping the array with the for loop so if you want to loop the array then you can use for loop for looping so now what we have already learnt about for function for for function for statement in last lecture so if any one didn't watch that last lecture first of all you can watch that last lecture then you can understand very easily that about for loop and we, how we can access the elements by using the for loop so here for x in cars first of all it will it will print the ford for x in cars first of all it goes to here x is ford so if x is ford x is in cars so it will print the x so it will print the output as ford next for x in cars that means next the x mo x moves to further element so here the x is volvo next it will it is also present in cars so print of x it will print the volvo and next it will moves the bmw next it will moves to bmw so it will print the bmw after the completion of looping for x in cars there is no element after the bmw so it, the loop is ended it will prints only up to what the elements in the array it will prints that elements only so this is about looping array elements and now we'll see adding array elements we also know about how to add the elements in array so here the one method that is to add array elements is append method so with the help of append method we are using the we are adding the elements to an array suppose this is an array cars is equal to ford volvo bmw suppose if you want to add the another element in that array so here the method is here we are, here we are using array name dot append of honda so this is the what that i would like to add in that cars array so here we are mentioning the cars name dot append of that element so print of cars after the appending that element print of cars i am printing the cars so now what will print it will print ford volvo bmw honda 
ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ದಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಹೋಂಡಾ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯರೆ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾರ್ ಸ್ಯಾರೆ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ದಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಆ್ಯರೆ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಲ್ಮೆ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಾ ಯಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ರಿಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯರೆ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಔ ಟು ವಿ ಹೌ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆ್ಯರೆ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಪಾಪ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ here by using the pop method we are we are removing the array elements so we will see how to remove the array elements by using pop method here first of all the example is cars is equal to ford volvo bmw here the syntax for removing elements by using pop method is array name dot pop of index so here we are mentioning cos dot pop of 1 so i want i would like to delete the remove the element of ford in that cars array so here huh, that is not cos i would like to if you would like to ford then instead of 1 we are writing the 0 if you write the pop of 0 then it will remove the ford if we here in this example we wrote that pop of 1 the pop of 1 is the index is valvo so here i would like to remove the valvo so cars dot pop of 1 i am mentioning the index number so it will automatically remove the valvo here after that it will print the ford bmw this is how this is how to remove elements in an array by using pop method here we also we can also remove the elements pop instead of pop method we have we have also one another method that is remove method for by using remove method also we have to remove an element from the array so this is about how to remove array elements by using pop method and remove method now we will see array methods here python has a set of built in methods that you can use on list or arrays so here for arrays it has some built in methods so now we will see that built in methods what are the built in methods in the array so these are the built in methods that are present in array first of all the method first method is append we already learnt about append method why we are using append method why append method is used to add the elements at the end of the list see remember one point that the append method always add the element at the end of the list it doesn't add the element in the beginning of the list it adds the end of the list unclear clear removes the all elements from the list if you want to remove all the elements then we are using clear method but suppose if you want to remove only one specific element then we are using pop method or remove method so here pop method is used to remove the element at the specified position so if you want pop, if you want to use pop method then you can uh, you can remove the element at your specified position but here the remove method is that that is it removes the element at the specified position it removes always only first item with the specified value so this is the difference between pop and remove remove method always removes the first item but pop method removes the element at the specified position and another one is copy so copy methods why we are using copying method copy method is used to return a copy of the list suppose if you want to the copy the list of the list of the elements in another list then we are using the copy method and count so here count is, is count method is used to returns the number of elements with the specified value and extend it extends extend method is used to add the elements of a list to the end of the current list if you want to 
add the elements then if you want to end elements of a list to the end of the current list then we are we are using extend method here and another one is index method so index method returns the index of the first element with the specified value so it returns the index of the first element only so insert insert we already learnt about append and insert is also used to add an element at the specified position see here difference between append and insert here append adds an element at the end of the list only if you want the add the elements at the specified position then we are using insert method by using insert method we can add elements at uh, at the specified positions what do you want to add and next one is reverse method so reverse the order of the list so if you want to reverse the order of the list then we are simply using reverse so by using reverse function we can simply reverse the elements what is the mean what does mean reverse suppose we have an array 1 2 3 then after using the reverse after using the reverse method it will prints the 3 2 1 so this is about reverse method if you want to print the numbers of the list in the reverse order then it will we use reverse method reverse the order of the list and sort sorts the list what is sort sort is nothing but if you want to if you want to print the numbers in ascending order or descending order that is called sorting so by using for sorting purpose we are using the sorts the list it will print this ascending order in the that means smallest to biggest number so this is about add a built in methods and i hope that everyone understood that what is an array and how to add elements and how to access the elements in an array and how to remove or how to pop the elements and what are the built in methods in array methods and how to find the length of an array so i hope that everyone understand clearly and if you have any doubts please com comment in the comment section and thank you for watching this video and if you like this video you can subscribe my channel to get more notifications on python classes thank you